there's Lee. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Not for me. <laughs> yep, not for me. Position already said it enough. I'm gonna walk around, just give me one sec. Okay. It's kinda weird playing with Mike now. I'm sorry guys, I might have to turn it up on my end. I can barely hear it. Oh. Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Mmm, capos. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. <laughs> Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. That's true. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <laughs> You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. That's true. Man, wait a minute. Is that where they first started? Like, isn't this the the Hawaii, the highway? I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft hmm. eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Said it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Yeah. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not telling who's got to stop. That's government property. That's now, gross. Of vap him otherwise. <laughs> so he stops and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Does it here? They caught the fucker red hand <laughs> stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. Mm, dummy. He actually believed it himself. It goes to show people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Yeah. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more uh, uh, it's a sir. So. Watch out. Oh, I really kind of want to win now. That's loud. It seems like a big drop. <sighs> That's okay. Never did get to finish this on my second channel. Walkers. How did the cop go? Oh, he flew out the windshield. We can't because we're in the backseat. I was thinking, how did the cop get outside? Oh, shit. I wonder how many days he was in there. What? <laughs> I see nothing. <laughs> oh, 
the cop. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cut back here! Officer? That doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Okay, good. No, that's still clay, I don't I don't think. I, need to drag myself out that I was trying, you were the one who Ow. Then the glass literally just landed right there. I miss games like these, you know. Ow. Really hurt. Let's go to the cop. Alright, uh, chill. Let's grab the shotgun. <laughs> Can we? Pick up. Looks empty. No, just put it back down. There's. I'll at least take the. Oh. Ow, the most of are really hurt. Where are the keys? Wait, does he have a gun right there? No. I just wanted to see. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. Of course that's all in right it says no. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Grab him. Oh, oh you can see his bite mark too. Where's the shotgun? Get away from me! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Die because I missed. I didn't mean to miss. No, oh, kill Lee. No, oh, Lee. <sighs> That's the earliest I've ever died. I don't think I've ever died actually in season one. So he got them off, and then he's like, Arr. Just keeps getting back. And well, you can also kick him. Right? I, I don't want to test that out. You have to move to be able to actually get, get him. Get, come on, come on, come on. Wait, it took way too much time with this last time. Don't just sit there and grab it. Okay, let's just, uh, let's wait. I didn't go anywhere near him. But hey, I'm glad. Yeah, you yucky. <laughs> Help! Go get some <laughs> Clementine. Oh how she just was like She just was like came up. She didn't even walk up. She just was like I don't know. What are we looking at? Oh god, walkers, because of the gunshot. Okay, so there's two. Ow, dude, that, that really must have hurt. Where's the shotgun go? Oh. So there's two. Three, four, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten.
12, 13. Jesus, those auto walkers. Imagine that how this must all feel for him. It'd be weird not to watch like any zombie shows or zombie movies. Just be like, what is going on? But you'd have to easily adapt. Why is it in every Walking Dead thing? The person is always trapped someone somewhere for days, and then they come out and then they realize it's, you know, Walking Dead. Anybody up there? Oh. How do you... There's no collectibles in this one. Uh, I thought it said like hit it Coming to break in. open. Don't shoot, okay? Let's leave the door wide open. <laughs> Ooh, I'm cold. Yes, let's be as loud as possible. That is very smart. How did it get lighter outside? They have their TV on. I don't think we have to look at everything or actually use everything. Man, this is coming in some. It's weird being back here, huh? Imagine if they were to remake this game. Oh my god, it would look so good. I mean, it looks pretty good. But. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so no much bad. for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two, left at eleven nineteen p.m. Oh my God! Finally, I don't it's know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave, and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Sony. Oh, I think it's in the second drawer. Yeah. Hello? You need to be quiet. I'm not a monster. Good. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This 
Oh, I gotta turn the subtitles on. Run, Lee, run. Oh, no, no. Lee, my boy. Let's just keep scooting back. I'm gonna fall again. <laughs> just slap her. I already knew what's happening, so. No, I have to press R2. Die. Die, 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 die. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Looks like Glenn. <laughs> nah, that's, that's not funny. That's not funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you kill it? Yeah, we killed it. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Mm. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. No, now we got a Clementine. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Did he take the hammer? I don't know. He should have. I don't know why people don't keep weapons in this game. They just don't like them. That is really clean glass. Oh, we just have a walkie talkie. There's nothing in here, right? No. Uh, uh, oh man, I ain't never getting home to mom at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot this night. <laughs> All right, dude. I'll see you later. I need to mute myself real quick. Let's go help him. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! 
We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chop. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Mm -hmm. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Yes, yeah, so why can't chat help? Uh, what is it to push? That's... I it can't, it's like, er. Uh, Clementine's helping us too. One more time. Chat is like. For just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Yeah. Sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Hmm. I wonder what happened to Herschel. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare has gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I wonder if it's Maggie or... Beth. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Yeah, it's like in there. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. Mm -hmm. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. 
you and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't get your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't hmm. imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find our parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That sounds that smart. doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. That would worry too much. We're pretty far from the city. Seems like that's where it's the worst. Yeah. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Teenage girl with her guts spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. <laughs> Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. <laughs> well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. That's good. probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Clementine in Lee's face. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Hmm. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. Hmm. Poor Clementine. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. Dirt. They were in Atlanta. Where's I don't know where Savannah is. I love you, baby. <laughs> I'm really interested in the story. I love it. I forgot about everything that happened. I haven't played for like a few years, so. Hi, itchy. Hmm. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not a dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of the fence. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> I love Doug. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and... Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll take Why not? It's a plan, then. Honey, be nice. Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. <laughs> he said hop. <laughs> I can keep an eye on your little girl. Oh god, that's course. funny. We can visit. Don't think we need to talk to them.
just talk to him. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Hmm. Montage. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Jeez. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. It really isn't. It don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Hmm. How about yours? Invite people How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Mm, I don't think we have to talk to any of them. Mm, look at all this. So I wonder. So this was Herschel's house. The barn was more this way but they did have a second barn full of horses and stuff right next to the house maybe it wasn't a barn it was like a maybe that's the actual barn or another person's property I don't know it's uh go help Connie Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, no kid. There's a life one there. What's the power plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. Mm -hmm. The odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a nice. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever dolphin. fighting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hmm. You have such pretty hair. It gets oh, thank you. That was very nice. Let's go talk to Herschel. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until the boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Mm-hmm. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. 
Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> there was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought yeah. up too? Yes. Where's your family now? <laughs> Why? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Mm -hmm. Yo! I'll get my gun! Now where'd you get your gun? Just go. Jesus, leave us fast. Duck is very dumb. I don't want to mind letting Duck die for right this time. Save Sean for now. Can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. Wait until it's your daughter and you need his help. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Hmm. That ride to make it if you want it. Yeah. So we're going to make it now. Yep. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Hmm. Look! Hey there! You 
friendly. Trucks run out of gas. No, it's a deadly, not a friendly. You wouldn't even be safe in your truck because you could just break the windows. I'm sorry, I just didn't mean that joke about you, Glenn. <laughs> My bad. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Hmm, <laughs> right here. They could have let him right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's the leader here, but it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Kill him. It's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle it. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us. <laughs> they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Ooh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in mm -hmm. muck. She'll find the bike. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. It takes like a day. If she's dead. He'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Oh god. You didn't know that there was a walker in the bathroom? Like, oh my god. Why isn't nobody else going to help? Why is it just me? Go. Punch him. Oh my god, my finger. You okay? 
That's great, Riggs. See the button one. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? Mm -hmm. We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Now I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a <laughs> walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. Mm -hmm. you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now <laughs> get him those pills. Okay, let's look. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. That sucks. What's that? Okay, so I have a fruit bar. I mean, I have a bar. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hmm. Mm, more food. More food. And there should be a battery. Mm. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Now let's give it to the other kid. We just need to get. It's not much, but here. For the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. <laughs> That's sweet, Lee. Okay. How can I with those things out there? Now, do we give one to Louie, Doug, or Carly? Hmm, Louie. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Yeah. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Hmm. Wonder how much longer <laughs> this episode is. I mean, not that long, not like an hour long. Hour and a half. Okay, now what we do is we, uh, 
Just look at everything. Oh, it's a family photo. That's funny. My dad gave it to me. Mm hmm. Dad's just smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Ah, uh, poor commentary. It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Hmm. Okay, here we go. <sighs> commentary is so cute. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Because <laughs> they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. Hmm. I'm just sorry for being mean. Aww. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been better. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and I didn't talk to him for a while. Mm -hmm. This seems to be their story, but let's just keep that between you and me. Okay, because of the trouble? Poor Clementine. Uh oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Oh. I'll find you a bandage. Now we can search the whole room. Light to open that drawer. And a remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Okay, the take it. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look at that finger. Oh uh, God! It hurt. Let's see it if hurt. We can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little, not too much. You sure? I didn't mean to lie, I meant to. Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Hmm. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Oh. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. No. Yeah. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try. I can't that even way. think that. Okay. You know, I can't even believe a kick you go. After all this, this would suck. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. And we could go back outside. Talkie 
or whatever. <laughs> this is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you. All right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. <laughs> Sounds good. Why is it always going that gets in like tough good. spots, sir? Okay. I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. Okay. Can we get those pills first, or... I mean, the keys. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agree. Okay. Try to get the keys now. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do. What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You, you can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Mm -hmm, nice. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. Let's go back.